are going to do some house projects today. I have a little helper here with me because one of the projects is... <laughs> no, you don't get to touch that. We are going to be converting his crib into a toddler bed. Now, we did do a video of this before, so if you don't want to watch that, this part of it, that's perfectly fine. Our second project that we're going to do today is going to be switching out hardware in basically all of our closets in the house because when we bought the house it came with these little plastic knobs and there's quite a few of them that are either starting to crack or have cracked to the point of we don't feel like we're able to really grab onto them and pull them and this little guy and CJ both love to just yank on them or slam them together. So those are our two projects for the day. I don't know if we're going to do anything else because honestly we're doing this after dinner and uh, it has been one of those days where it's just a recovery day. We've been going nonstop over the last few weekends and we're going to probably keep going nonstop for the next few weekends. So today was just a nice, hey, it's too hot to really go anywhere. These guys weren't really feeling going anywhere. So it's like, yeah, let's just stay home and we'll laze around for most of the day and then do some projects right before bed. So let's get going into converting the yeah, yeah. crib into a toddler bed. I don't know how much of this you've actually shown them. I have not shown them any of this. So really for our crib that we have to convert, it's just two bolts on each side and then this front panel will come out. The whole piece on the front comes off. Yep. But because we're also putting a bed rail on it, we're going to have to actually raise where the mattress is. So we will have to do more than just the four bolts. So depending on what exactly you need for your toddler, you might not have to do more than just the four bolts. All right, so where do we leave off? I don't remember. So I've just undone the top one. Okay. Well, I don't remember if this one also has... That one should not have one. I didn't think so. It doesn't look like it would have one. So the top one has a slightly different screw. So that it really folds into place, which for us is a good thing. And I'm gonna try and... Ooh, this one is rusty. Yeah. It happens. Oh, well, we've had it for six years. It was rusty even when we had CJ. Well, you can't see the back side of this panel, but um, CJ used that as a teether for his front teeth at one point. I could show you once we... I don't know. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, it has been loved. And chewed through. Maybe not through, but... Yeah. It has been chewed. So we've got our four bolts out. Not that simple. Yep, and like I said, since we're putting a bed rail on as well, we will need to adjust things, but if you just want that and your toddler is able to not roll around like a crazy person, or you have a different type of bed rail that doesn't have the same support that ours does, you won't have to raise it. So before we tackle this, I'm going to put, since we are going to use this a third time, I'm going to put the bolts back in where they need to so that when we do want to reattach it, they're just in there and we don't lose them because that would be bad. And I'm just going to do it by hand because I don't need to tighten them or anything. I wouldn't think. As long as they stay in. <laughs> right? 
one's always the interesting one. I don't know if you actually show the bolt and the oh. screw. Yeah, so this one is the bottom one. So as you can see between the top and the bottom, the top one is longer and it has a smooth piece because this goes underneath and fits in that way. And now I have a cat that wants to <laughs> Show his butt. <laughs> about to have a dog too. So. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is why you don't have a house full of two kids, a dog, and a cat. Because <laughs> at some point, someone is going to come into where you are. Hi. You in a cute little butt way? Yeah, I see you eyeing that. You're not getting this. You get it. It's lost. <laughs> Magical. Like I said, yours might be different, but because ours has a notch on it, it won't fit flush underneath the mattress because of this little bar here for us. Because the mattress on the lowest setting probably sits about an inch lower than this bar to keep the mattress in place. So you do actually have to take all four off on this. Unfortunately, yes, because it doesn't. You can't do one side and then the other. You have to take the entire main frame off to move it up. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm here. I will pull yes. it up on the other side. You will other definitely side. need at least three hands to do a move up or down. Well, I wouldn't say need three. I think what I've done in the past, I, I've like braced it with my feet while I'm trying to do it. But yeah, well, some of us aren't tall enough for that. And some of us are pregnant. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, we are. Trust me, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I forgot how long some of these bolts were, to be honest. Yeah, it's also painful because each one of them has some type of torque pulling on them, so yep. they're all technically tight. off. Yes. So let me do this first. Hold it up. I don't know, I want to make sure that the middle one's actually what size we need. Yeah. Whoa. Roughly. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, you can fold those in. Yeah, I'm trying to. There we go. Stop it, you camera hog. So, right. second one. Second one is there ish. Yeah. So I do think we have to go third. We'll have to go third because there's not enough clearance. Yep. Yeah. Which is fine. That's not a problem. That's why we looked at it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So now you're squished. So what I'm gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna have some weird camera action here. It's fine. Woo! <clears throat> so if you don't have funny flexible legs. 
I don't have one. I was just angling it at the wall, so we'll see if that's actually usable. So <laughs> if you don't have funny, flexible legs, you can have a secondary person come up here and hold it. Even if you did have flexible legs here, I would highly doubt that you'd be able to hold this much up. Are you absolutely sure that second level won't take it? I mean, we can try again. Let's try it, just because then I can hold this side and we can actually look at it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Right. You know what? This this will, okay? So you uh, know why? Fantastic. You, okay. But do you know why? Nope. All I know is I'm squishing my wrist right now. Okay. Well, let's not squish the wrist. Let's not hurt the wrist. <laughs> We can get them all started, and then we can go around and tighten them. That's what we need to do. So, when we were originally talking, we were thinking that that piece right there needed to go underneath the metal. It doesn't need to go underneath the metal. It goes in between the metal and the mattress. Correct. So, this is fine. The bottom one isn't okay because it's sub below this main wooden brace here. But this will be okay because you just have that tiny little lip. Yeah. So this so. should be fine. So what that's going to do is it's going to sit on top of that metal piece. But because on the bottom the metal piece was below that wooden piece, it wasn't going to work. But now it will. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we can't go middle. We can go middle. Woo! Oh, no. Well, those that's are just going to stay yeah, there. Leave just leave it. That's fine. <laughs> Remember this. A good chance just to go through and make sure that all the individual little bolts are tightened up because we're going to be at this point anyway. You probably got a heavy probably had it for a while, well, not, not oh. so much even that. Just you're, you're making a modification to something, and then you're going to have probably the heaviest the child has been sure. getting into the getting into the crib. And these do stabilize it when the entire panel is in, so as you can see, it's a little wiggly. But, but it's designed to do this. It is. Yeah. Migration! I don't have to worry about coming back to it. You're the one doing it. <laughs> this is true. I can give all the puppy pets I want to. So I am, for the record, thinking that this is going to have some just fashion montages here, too. I'm oh, yeah. Not, I'm not expecting this to have... No. Like, this is probably going to be a fashion montage. Yeah. Have we come up yet? What do you think? Uh, what? No, no, I'm holding the camera. I want to see this. Do you remember when we did this for you? Uh, no. no I would be surprised if he remembered that. Honestly. Well, maybe we can talk about a little bit why... Did you talk kind of why we're doing this? I did not. I just said that we were converting it from his crib to his top of okay. So, the reason why we're doing this is to get... <gasps> Hi! It's... <laughs> is to get him used to being in a big boy bed. I mean my bed, like my bed. Exactly, because you said you don't want to move into daddy's office for a bedroom. You want to be in the same bedroom with bunk beds with Damon, right? 
So we really wanted to convert and get him used to a toddler slash normal setup and for a bed. So that when he moves in with you with a bunk bed, he knows to how it. to get out. He knows how to get in and out. Because Damon does not like change. You love change. But Damon does not do well with it at all. Right. So doing a slow transition with him is <laughs> the best. So since we have basically, what, five months? A little less than five months for him to get used to it. That would be plenty of time for Damon to get used to just this style bed. And then obviously there might be a few more months where he might be in here before we move the baby into its own room. But at the very least, we get him used to a normal bed setup. So let's put the straps underneath and then we'll put the mattress on and then we'll see if you can get in and out. Oh no. We lost our cameraman, so. We're gonna do it our way, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna flip that. And then, here, let me do it. We have it unlocked. And then we're just gonna kind of guess to where it needs to go under. And then we're going to go to this very last piece. Whoop. Trying to do this one handed. Okay. So now that we have both in, we are going to put the mattress as long as Mr. Bubs doesn't take that up. All right. So after we've made sure that those pieces and then the pieces on the other side of the crib that you cannot see are nice and snug around the mattress. We can now take our flap, put it up, put our locks in place, and now we have a toddler bed, don't we? No. <laughs> you want to get in it? And this is what we meant by he does not like change. So we'll even see if after bath time he wants to get in. So with that being said, we are going to switch to bath time. So a little bit of intermission and then we will come back after he is in bed and do the little knobs for the closet. Can you say bye bye? <laughs> there we go. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Project number two! Doop. I'm hiding. Yeah, he is. I will give the kid a bath. Yep. Good luck. Bye. Bye-bye. Alright, so, project number two. Switching out the knobs for our closets. So, as you... Whoop! Probably can't see that. These are all plastic, so they're not the greatest. I will show you Charles's because his closet is the worst. Now, these we got from Ikea on clearance, so they were nice priced. They're going to be a little smaller than these ones that we currently have, but these ones are metal, so they're going to last a lot longer, and I don't know if you can see it, but this is kind of girthy, whereas this has kind of a nice tapered piece to it. So we're hoping that these are going to work a lot better and last a lot longer. So let's get switching those out. Should be pretty easy. Just take one screw out, put one screw back in. Now, this might not be as difficult if you don't have a dresser in it like we do. Ooh, that makes some sort of creaky sound. I have no idea how old these knobs are. So I might end up breaking some of these as we're taking them out. Ooh, that's a long screw. I hope this. Oh no. 
Okay, so we're going to do a slight change of things. This is the old screw. This is the new screw. So this will not fit with the length of our closet, unfortunately. So this should fit into this. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh no. Oh no. Well, our project number two might not get done. Well, this uh, was not a success. So before I break the news of the failed doorknobs for the closet, I am going to show you guys how Damon does with first experience trying to get in the bed. Hopefully it's not too traumatic and he's used to our nighttime routine enough that he can do what he normally does and just say it's fine and go to bed. But we'll see how well that actually works. Are there any friends left? We'll go. Okay, come crawl in. Come in here. Can you crawl in? Here, come here. Yeah, crawl in. Just like that. Perfect. Good job. Okay, go. No. <laughs> And this is going to be the problem. Oh, crawl in the bed. Damon, crawl in the bed. Turn the light on. Come on. It's nighttime, baby. Crawl in the bed. Come on, big boy, let's go. Can you lay down with Bingo? No. Can you find her? Can you find her in bed? Yep. We're going to at least have the normal routine of picking up the first night. Not bad. Then we're going to sneak away. We did a new mistake. Why? So I want you to take this screw and hold it up to the depth of our door. Huh. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Huh. So our project number two was a failure. Well, hold on. No, let's let's not assume that. Is well, it the same screw? Can we use the same one in the door? So I did try the old screw using the new knobs that we bought. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, they do not work. A different thread it is a different thread it's more of a traditional like wood screw kind of thread does the box have a thread on it thread no thread? it just says um length so it's a one and a quarter did, did you check to see if this has a different coloration like when you take this knob off, is it the same color underneath it? I did not check that. Okay. I wasn't aware that I needed to check that. Well, so you look at the thin, you look at the thinness of the, the butt of that mm -hmm. versus the thinness of that one. Mm -hmm. I did make a some, comment about that. You're going to have some difference there, but... But I feel like it wouldn't be too much because a lot of the time that's going to be in shadow anyway. I would prefer to still use them if we can find a longer <laughs> screw. Well then that's just going to be a hardware store trip. Right. So you can just take that screw yeah. and just say, or you can actually just well, take that yeah. piece in and just grab a screw and just say does it work or not. Mm -hmm. Go to the hardware section and touch it. At that point we just need to get the length of whatever the screw is that's currently in the doors. Yep. Which I'm guessing with how short this is, it's probably going to be close to one and three quarter or two inch long. Let me just get the dimension of the door as well. 
Yeah, that that's what I mean when you hold up the screw to the door. It's probably about half an inch to three quarters of an inch from being able to get threaded into the knobs. Regardless, we'll use them somewhere in the house. Just depends on if we need different hardware or we need to swap them out somewhere else. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. But after that failure and the first one being a success, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye 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 bye! Whoa! <laughs>